Right, our penultimate award uh, is to celebrate outstanding achievement in science and technology. It's sponsored by Porsche, and to make the presentation, please welcome their UK brand and strategy manager, it's Nick Wilson. Porsche are very proud to be uh, associated with the Asian Awards. Uh, Porsche is about leadership, it's about innovation, it's about being the best, it's about pushing the envelope and not stopping when people tell you to stop, much like the uh, individuals in this room, past and present uh, winners. So congratulations to all the winners tonight. Um, I'm here to present the award uh, for science and technology, very relevant for Porsche. If you take the 918 Spider, that's a car that can develop a 887 brake horsepower, 0 to 60 in 2.4 seconds, but it's 91 miles per gallon. And for you Londoners, you can actually get congestion charge exemption on that car. So quite a technological feat. But enough about me. I'm now going to try and take cars to the universe. So we wish me luck. What is the universe really made of? And what forces act within it? and what gives everything substance. The recipient tonight has dedicated their career to push the boundaries of scientific and technological endeavor to answer these questions. Born in Nyeri, Kenya in 1952, his family relocated to Birmingham, England in 1967, where an inspirational teacher sparked his interest in the structure of matter. Graduating from university, he became a fellow of the Experimental Physics Division at CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research. Here, he would play a crucial role in the design, prototyping, construction, installation, commissioning, and initial operation of the compact muon solenoid, a general-purpose particle detector within the Large Hadron Collider, the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator. In 1993, he became deputy spokesperson for the collaboration and was elected leader of CMS from January 2007. In July 2012, CMS researchers released preliminary results of a new boson that was consistent with the theorized Higgs boson, later to be confirmed as the Higgs boson itself, an elementary particle in the standard model of particle physics. The Asian Awards Outstanding Achievement in Science and Technology could not be more fitting. The deserved winner is Professor Sir Tejinder Verdi. Elected Fellow of the Royal Society in 2012, Verdi has won several awards, including the Fundamental Physics Prize in 2012 and the European Physical Society High Energy and Particle Physics Prize in 2013. He was awarded an honorary knighthood in 2014 by the Queen for his achievements in science. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you to the judging panel and the organizers of the Asian Awards. I'm very glad to receive this distinguished honor. Uh, I should say the progress in fundamental science allows us to get a deeper understanding of how nature works. Over the centuries, this understanding has very much improved the way we live, uh, giving us a better life, providing us with numerous paradigm-shifting technologies. Uh, for example, the discovery of the electron, the first fundamental particle with mass discovered in 1897, uh, and the deep understanding of its behavior gave us, in the end, the world of electronics, which has led to many great benefits uh, for humankind. Now, coming closer to time, by inventing new technologies and pushing existing ones to their very boundaries, and then pooling the resources of thousands of scientific minds from all over the world, we at CERN in Geneva made this groundbreaking discovery of the Higgs boson in 2012. By the way, the word boson, thank you. The wor word boson actually comes from an Indian scientist also named Bose, the, one, the same name that we honored earlier this evening. The Higgs boson is the quantum of the field that imparts mass to fundamental particles. Now, why is that important? 
It gives our universe substance. Without fundamental particles having mass, we humans would not exist. Now, let me come to another point. Scientific knowledge is a shared heritage of humankind. Uh, scientific literacy is it's essential to make sense of our modern world. Uh, the UK itself welcomes young people in search of uh, an excellent education like myself. Education actually opens minds and frontier research, the type of research I carry out, requires freedom of inquiry and freedom of thought. Only by constantly questioning and improving upon previous knowledge uh, do we make significant uh, progress. Now, to end uh, in all these endeavors, the work uh, I've been able to do is not possible without very immense support from the family. And I'd like to thank my wife, Vatsla. Uh, we met about 40 years ago this week. So thank you, and thank you all. Taking the 2015 Asian Award for Outstanding Achievement in Science and Technology, Professor Sir Tajinda Verdi. And our thanks to sponsors, Porsche.